Once conduit is reamed, the next step is threading. PVC coated conduit can be threaded with any standard threading tool. Larger model power threaders with open die heads require no modification beyond optional grip inserts for PVC coated conduit. If threading PVC coated aluminum, do not use the same dies that were used on PVC coated steel. Prior to beginning, make sure the threader is dispensing clean threading lubricant. This will aid in flushing away metal and PVC chips. To gauge the length of the threads, place a factory applied thread protector on the cut end of the pipe. Use a sharpie or marker to mark the length. Hold a utility knife upside down and engage the foot pedal of the threader. The conduit will spin and a cut will be made around the circumference of the conduit. Next, make longitudinal cuts down the length of the conduit. Thread the conduit to the mark previously made. During threading, lubricant will dispense from the threader, flushing away metal and PVC chips. Some threaders are equipped to stop automatically. If conduit is to be threaded with a handheld device, it must be pencil cut before threading can occur. This will enable the die teeth on the threader to engage the conduit. The thread protector attached to one end of the conduit can be used to gauge the length of the cuts. Push the thread protector over the cut end of the conduit to be threaded. With a knife, cut around the circumference of the conduit through the PVC coating to the metal. This cut will indicate the starting point for the longitudinal cuts, and it will give an even ending to the PVC coating removed during threading. The longitudinal cuts will allow the PVC coating to be removed in small pieces instead of long strips that can follow the die head, causing the conduit to collapse. In the same manner as sharpening a pencil with a knife, cut away one quarter inch of the exterior coating. Be sure to use die heads specifically designed to be used with PVC coated conduit. Please note when threading PVC coated aluminum conduit, always use new die heads. Never use the same die head to thread coated aluminum conduit and coated steel conduit. While threading, use a pump oiler with good quality thread cutting oil to flush away the metal and PVC chips. Once threading is complete, use a degreasing spray to clean the threads and the interior of the pipe. Use care not to contaminate the cutting oil with the degreasing spray. Degreasing is important in order to ensure that the thread compound will adhere to the unprotected steel. Bare steel resulting from field cut threads is the most vulnerable area to corrosion in any conduit system. Therefore, a thread compound must be used on all field cut threads and internal rings. Proper use of the thread compound will ensure a reliably sealed installation. Thread compound has been developed as a protection for bare metal and is available in pint cans.